Hi, this is a tutorial for ISE 6024 Advanced Systems Dynamics. This is an introduction to subscripts in Vensim presented by Kevin Grove and Mike Stoyanos. Hello and welcome. This is a tutorial we're putting together to demonstrate the creation and setup of a subscript within Vensim. So just to provide a little, context, a little context, let's assume that we're a company and we have demand. However, let's say that we have multiple products and that this demand changes over time. Uh, one way we could handle this is by actually creating different variables for each of our products within Vensim and creating all different stocks and flows for them. However, that can clutter the model and it can distract from what the model is actually doing. So rather than explicitly modeling products uh, separately within Vensim, because our products basically behave the same, we can use a subscript. So let's see how to do that. The first thing I'm going to do is go up here to the upper right and go to the subscript control. So right now there's no subscripts defined, so let's define our first one. We said that we have multiple products, so I'm going to create a subscript called products, and now I'm going to say that it has three different values, P1, P2, and P3. And I'm separating them by a comma here. That's the way that Vensim denotes uh, all the different elements of the subscript. So this defines three different products for us. I'm going to click OK. And now we see a products tab for the subscript, and we see one out of three. That means right now Vensim is only looking at the first of the three subscripts. We can turn them on by clicking on them. We can turn them off by clicking them off. We can have some subset of them turned on. So you can really control this if you want to focus in on any one part of your model. Next, let's define another subscript. We'll call it quarters. Let's assume that our demand changes each quarter. So we'll say Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4. Again, we get another tab. One out of four. Let's turn all four of them on. Let's close this. So we've just created our subscripts. Next, let's set them up within this demand and use them. So I'm going to go to the equation editor. I'm going to click on demand. First thing I'm going to do is tell Vensim to associate those subscripts with this variable. So I'm going to go click on the equation bar up here. Then I'm going to go to the subscripts tab here and we can see the two subscripts that we defined. So I'm going to click on products. It's going to add it up here to the equation. Next I'm going to click on quarters and it'll also add quarters up here. The way Vensim denotes subscripts is by surrounding them in brackets and separating them by commas for each subscript that's associated with a variable. So this tells Vensim to associate these two subscripts with demand. Next, we need to populate it with values. So first thing I'll do is define the demand for each product within quarter one. So let's suppose we have a demand of 100 for product one, 120 for product two, and 150 for product three. All of this within quarter one. We're going to define that by itself and add a semicolon. We're going to go in the order of the subscripts here. So that was for product 1, 2, and 3 in quarter 1. Next we'll do product 1, 2, and 3 within quarter 2. Let's say 80, or excuse me, 90, 80, and 100. We'll separate this with another semicolon. Then we'll move on to quarter 3. Let's say demand goes up 140. 160, 130. Then we'll do quarter four. Let's say it goes back down to 110, 115, 140. Now one important thing to note is we have to add a final semicolon here. So we have four quarters defined. This is quarter one right here with a semicolon at the end. Quarter two with a semicolon at the end quarter three of the semicolon at the end, and quarter four of the semicolon at the end. We're doing this in the order that we've written the subscripts. So we're defining all of our products for the first quarter, all of our products for the second quarter, all of our products for the third quarter, and all of our products for the fourth quarter. Let's click OK and see if we have any errors. Looks like it checks out. So that's one way to do it. Let's also look at a second way that we can define our numbers. We can also have multiple equations rather than separating each one of our values by semicolons. So for example, we could say demand of P1, or excuse me, products in Q1. 
So this will def define all of our products in Q1. We'll say 100, 120, and 150. Now we'll go to this Add Equation button in the right here. So we'll add equation Q2, and we'll say this is 80, 90, and 110. Next we'll go down here to New. We'll add another equation for Q3. This will be 130, 150, and 180. And we can add a fourth one for Q4. We'll say 75, 90, and 80. Click OK. So that is another way of defining all the values within our subscripts. You can use either one. If you'd like to see them all written out at once, uh, you can just define it in one equation separated by semicolons. However, if you have a very large uh, series of subscripts, lots of different values, uh, this can be difficult to track down individual things. So sometimes, or just depending on your preference, uh, it might be easier to define multiple equations and then navigate each individual equation to check your numbers. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, this is a pretty short uh, demonstration just on the basics of how to set one up. In our other tutorial, we'll talk about one of the more complex uses for subscripts, which is multiple linear regression. All right, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, we hope that you learned a lot from our tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, any comments, any kudos, please send us an email. Uh, you can email me at mikesty at vt.edu or kevin at kgrove at vt.edu. Thank you very much for watching.